Hey guys, and welcome to the video, and we both hope that you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, we're here in Wood and All with um, Yvonne's mums, and uh, we just popped outside to have a crafty cigarette, and we looked up and we saw those birds like, flying around, so I thought, what a best way of starting this week's vlog, eh? Well guys, I've nicked out for a little bit of a stroll around Wood and All, and I think I found out where these uh, birds came from. It looks like, like literally there's a um, sort of a... Uh, an area over here. I um, did a daily sort of video on the page earlier and uh, a viewer said to me oh they could be racing pigeons and somebody's let them out and I was like oh right okay. What do we have here? Is there a reason for this here? It's got some writing on this. I can't make out the writing here. Wolver, Wolverhamp, something there. Intriguing. I haven't really got a clue which way I'm going right now. That is so strange. It's like you got a, you know you got the road that stops there, but then you got a little road there. See, one of the many things I like about Woodland Hill is the old and the new. And if I show you this, you've got a church there, the new buildings here, and you've got these buildings here that look like they're literally derelict. It kind of reminds me of a lot of areas in uh, Bristol that I used to see that was like this, all boarded up. Here you go. Abandoned one. Definitely looks like it hasn't been used in years, guys. This path here used to have a rail line on it. It used to lead you from that direction and straight in this direction here. Now I've just tried to look through these windows here, guys, to see if I can have a look in because this was that abandoned building stroke factory that we just seen. But guys, honestly, I'm looking at this wall in front of me and I'm like, wow. Just look at those stones there, guys. That's where we stood up just over there. That's that abandoned factory building thing there. And you can see, sort of slopes up so you could definitely get the feel that it was a train line going through this area here so yeah guys i am definitely happy that i discovered this the other week to be truthfully honest i'm so pleased there's a lot of people that have came forward and said oh did you know about this did you know about that and i'm like i ain't got a clue guys there he was a station just where i'm heading now so i'm interested to see if there's any uh, remnants of the station there all right well there's another bridge over here so we're going to go underneath this one wow it's like a, how deep is this water? Oh my gosh. Oh my word, the slidy and wet and ew, horrible. I know I've ended up getting flat faced into that. However, guys, it's only until I look over this area here. Well, what's with this here? Whoa. Wow. That is so cool. I don't know why they've got this blocked off. I can't see a reason why. Can you... Oh, that's, oh, that's a padlock on that one there. Right, what have we got here? We've got these concrete blocks here, which looks like it had some wooden things put into it. And then if we show you this here, right, this comes down here. So I think that this might have been, at one point, this area here, was the station obviously over time houses were built up there so i've been interested because what was the purpose of having this here <laughs> got a tree growing out the bridge there so anyway we're gonna carry on looking up this area here okay and we've got bits of brick all amongst this area here as well so this could be where the train station was at one point all right, yeah. let's see what else we got down here. It's like the area where people forgot. And what really gets me, guys, and looking at all this, is I try to visualize how it would have been back in the day. Like, it would have been literally so busy. Trains would have been going through this area. What gets to me, guys, is you've got trees like that literally growing behind us. And yet there was a train line here. It's crazy what Mother Nature does. Getting very narrow here. What, what, what's this here? Can I get through this? Ooh, where are we going now? Where does this take you? I'll tell you something, I have lost count guys, how many people have stared at me. But anyways, um, there's nobody about now lucky enough, so I'll show you this bridge. So 
just a vision there the train line straight off in that direction and this I believe this ground here is Woodenau uh, Memorial Ground, which I will explore this area in a future adventure video. Well guys, I'm on my way back to Yvonne's mum's. I've just done a live video and I must admit that was so much fun doing that. However, I've literally just found a load of bricks and I mean a load of bricks. There is a load of them just led down in this area. I can see a few names here. I've definitely had a fun day today and I'm looking forward to chilling out with Yvonne and her mum. But I'm definitely looking forward to coming back to Wurrano and spend some more time here and bring you guys along with me. Oh guys, I am having so much fun today. If you're wondering why I'm wearing my headphones, right, I'm actually currently editing last week's vlog now to you. If you uh, hear a squeaky floorboard, that is Yvonne upstairs doing her bits and bobs because today is a day of you know literally catching up on a lot of things right um i was gonna go out and do a sunrise video but unfortunately i did get up in time so i have set my phone outside and uh, i'm hoping to get a good video from that now speaking of catching up guys today i looked at how many people are actually following my facebook page and i was like oh my, oh god. my god i shouted up to yvonne i'm like literally three away from 700 followers and she was like oh my god i have to say huge thanks to you guys for following for liking my stuff and you know it just means the world i like to share all different parts of my life even it's from like a vlog to an adventure to even a sky video to whatever it is i love sharing it to you guys and you guys seeing it and i'm also looking forward to uh seeing what this uh sunrise video i've managed to do from the home turns out and also later on today guys i'm hoping that i'm gonna be able to capture a traffic too guys i really wish my camera would do this justice the sky tonight is absolutely beautiful now amongst all these clouds is a little tinge of pink as you go to this direction over here this hairy here is really, really all pinky i could really do with having one of those foldable like camp chair things so when i come out and do things like this i've got somebody to sit down on it's getting a little bit dark so this is a good sign because what i'm aiming for guys for this shot is to get the lights of the cars on the obviously the front or the back lights of cars bikes trucks you know you know all the vehicles and uh, it gives off a bit of an effect on the camera so uh fingers crossed guys it's going to get darker a little bit quicker and then i'll be able to get that shot speaking of shots guys if you just look above me here there's the moon right and i have been literally stood here like crazy steady with my my hands because i'm so cold right and i'm like please i wish my phone would take a decent picture i'm looking forward to seeing what cameras and stuff there is out there to see if i can capture that and also maybe use it as a you know a general camera looking about but anyways i'm going to carry on uh checking out this uh, site and uh, <laughs> I think that was meant for me so yeah I'm looking forward to getting this done and uh, getting home in the morning well guys I got myself up early hours of this morning and uh, to be truthfully honest I'm looking forward to my day first thing I'm looking forward to doing is a sunrise video and we've got some fog at the moment so I'm looking forward to seeing what sort of effect that gives to the uh, video secondly um, We've got a gas guy coming out to do the central heating, so fingers crossed that gets fixed today. And thirdly, guys, me and Yvonne are going to be going to the brook, and I can't wait to show her the bits that I love about it. Because it's been years since she's gone to the brook, and uh, she was uh, asking me questions, is it this, is there, is this, and I was like, do you know what, just come with me and you'll find out. Wow, that is so glittery. All right then, off we go to do our time lapse video. Alright guys, we are now at the location. <laughs> you can barely see what I'm looking at here, but this view from here, oh my god, it's going to be amazing. So yeah, let's uh, get ourselves set up and uh, see what happens. Wow guys, this sunrise has been absolutely amazing to watch. It's been strange because I've been watching the street lights sort of go brighter, brighter, brighter. And I thought, what's going on here? I realised it's the fog sort of dissipating. So I was like, oh, right, okay, then fair enough. You learn something new, I suppose. However, speaking of learning, guys, um, I set my camera up facing the completely wrong direction. However, 
I just gotta say that Mother Nature is absolutely amazing. Oh my word, guys. This fog is literally just came up over this area and it's literally made it so hard to see in the distance. And it's worked out that I was in the completely different direction to where the sun was supposed to be coming up. So I've moved my tripod just down a little bit down here. It's actually made the time lapse video a little bit better because where I position the camera now, you can see the sun just behind the fog. So it's actually giving it a bit more of a, um, some sort of a little bit of a glow. So I can't wait for you guys to see that. So now it's time to make my way home. Yvonne is up out of bed. She's got the kettle nicely warmed, ready for me. My hands are not far off thawed out. However, my feet are absolutely freezing. So it's really strange to be walking where I can't really feel what's going on. My feet, they're that cold. And I'm glad that I've actually changed position than when I did because the sunrise um, video I got absolutely fantastic, guys, honestly. Wow, guys, the weather today is not disappointing me, to be honest. It's absolutely sort of mystical, sort of vibe to it. But guess what? Look who we have here. Hello. Me and Yvonne are now off on our little uh, wander to the brook. Well, it looks like Yvonne is liking the brook ups now, guys. It's been absolutely amazing to see Yvonne's face. Like, wow, that is amazing. Now this, it's like she's going, oh, I remember that from your videos. I remember you took a picture of that. I remember this, I remember that type of thing. And it's just, for me, it's nice to bring somebody along, you know, and show somebody else where I like to go to have my ecotherapy time. Well, guys, it looks like the brook is, um, quote, brimming here. Because the last time I've been here, I was able to walk across this bit here and there was no water in this area. And to be truthfully honest, this should have been fixed years ago. Why is this being left like this? This is part of our heritage in Rugely. So surely, you know, something could be done to save this or, you know, make it better so we can actually use it. Because over in that area there, the, in that, just in that section there where I'm circling right now, that is a bridge that takes you up to the Horns um, pub in uh, Slitton Mill. But this area here, this has happened over time and uh, unfortunately hasn't been rectified. Yvonne learning how to use her <laughs> camera. Well, Yvonne's learning to take pictures on her phone because she's going to be uploading her stuff to her page. Now, Yvonne has changed the direction a little bit to what she wants to upload on Facebook because she has resigned from being a Rougie Town councillor. It's, you know, down to personal reasons. I'm not, you know, going to go into it on this uh, video. Well, it looks like my mission here is now done, guys. I have now fully you know convinced Yvonne this is you know absolutely awesome place to come we've just um, had a little bit of a break and uh, we was chatting about everything and it's it was so nice because a couple of people went by you know walking their dogs and they were like hi and everything and it really made the whole experience up to now good for Yvonne because it's nice when you get pleasantries and things and it doesn't cost anything guys honestly it doesn't but anyways we're gonna crack on uh, for our little explorer of the day Well guys, we've just had ourselves a little bit of a break in this place here. We've just found two benches, got one bench there and we have another bench just over there guys. And it's been, you know, nice just to sit here, relax and the view that we've had has been absolutely awesome. So Yvonne, if yes. you're not wandering <laughs> off on us, what have you, have you enjoyed today's little yes, look I have, about? Yes, Why definitely. is that? Um, it's nature, isn't it? On the doorstep and it's free. Say no more, you got me at free. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to head on home now. We've definitely enjoyed our uh, little bit of ecotherapy walk. And also, I can't wait to get some pictures up on the page. So I'll be dropping Yvonne's uh, page in the description of this video. So it'd be great if you go and give her page a little bit of a look and uh, maybe a like and a follow. But anyway, we best crack on now. Wow, guys, I picked the right morning yesterday to go out and do the uh, sunrise video. The sky is just filled with clouds. Oh, <laughs> do you like my new cape? 
I, you know, I woke up this morning, looked at the sky, and I was like, oh my God, I definitely picked the right day there. Me and Yvonne yesterday had so much fun looking around the brook. Um, she was, uh, she took a load of pictures and put them up on her page, and she's had so much interaction, and it's just like, oh, I feel so buzzing for it. Wow, look at that, guys. <laughs> awesome. Oh. <laughs> well now it's time for me and Yvonne to go out and do our little bit of shopping and before we go and do that guys Yvonne has to go for her injection and to be truthful honest it's not too cold outside it would be better if it was a little bit warmer but unfortunately you can't have everything I uh, must admit it's getting foggier as it's going on today strange isn't it but anyway let's get on that road eh Alright guys, we are now at Hill Springs Health Centre and we're about to get rid of this one for a booster jab. And I must admit, the guys at the uh, fence um, were really, really um, happy and uh, they seem, they've got a definitely good attitude on them. It's really, really pleasant. you got to go now for your yeah. jab. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye See bye. you later. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, I'm going to be sitting here chilling and um, hopefully, you know, Yvonne won't be that long. Well, anyways, I decided I was going to get out of the car and have a little bit of a wander around the... Uh, the grounds of the health center here and uh there's been so many birds in this area and i was like right let's get the camera out and uh, as soon as i did that they all disappeared that frost though <laughs> i'm just gonna take some pictures here and uh then wait for yvonne because she shouldn't be here that long You can't come into town, guys, without having a look at the brook. I tell you this now, I would absolutely love to come down into town in the summer and spend a bit of time there, maybe doing a couple of pictures. But anyways, I'm going to go and meet up with Yvonne now. And, and I've got to admit, I can't wait to get home. We've got a few more shops we need to go to. But once we get home, get everything put away, and then hopefully we can have a nice chilled day. <laughs> Oh, babies, you enjoying this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Link's just had a funny turn. And I when I say a funny turn, right, he literally, um, what did he call it? Zoomies. That's the technical word, is zoomies. He literally has been running around the house. And I thought, I really want to capture him. So I thought, let's get the camera out and uh, see what he does. I think he's calmed down a little bit. Anyway, guys, um, me and Yvonne's got back from doing our shopping, and I've got to confess, the sky this afternoon is looking amazing. Just over there, guys, you can't see it on camera enough. So I've got the camera set up now, recording that area, and uh, maybe some good will come from this because it's looking really, really good. Well, guys, I just got done doing a bit of a sunset video, and I must admit, I'm so glad I have, because it was just so nice seeing the different tones, you know, going throughout the clouds. It was absolutely fantastic. Who do we have here? Hello there, Techie Twos. How you doing? <laughs> so, yeah, I've um, definitely had a fulfilment of uh, sunrises and sunsets for this uh, week, haven't we? Hey. <laughs> all right then well i've um had to purchase a new shaver so i can't wait to give that a go tonight because i really have got to get myself looking a bit more smarter especially for going back to work and to be truthful honest my other shaver i don't know what's gone wrong with it but it's just literally stopped working i've kept it on charge i've cleaned it you know it just doesn't want to work does it oh <laughs> There we go. That looks a lot better now. And I gotta confess, that shaver did a really, really good job. Yvonne has this thing that when uh, I've had a shave, she uh, says I look like a very young version of John type thing. What do you reckon? Oh, 
very nice. Very good, that is. Yeah, very, very smooth. Very smooth. Very smooth. Well, there you go. I'm very smooth. <laughs> but anyway, it's time to chill and play some Minecraft. And I have been desiring to do a certain area of Minecraft for a while. So I can't wait to get on with doing that with Yvonne in a bit. Tears. Now the weather today has been very very strange now earlier I thought that we were literally in for a massive you know rainstorm but it cleared up lucky enough however guys me and Yvonne are gonna have ourselves a nice sunny dinner hey there chef Vaughn hey there adventurer John <laughs> me and Yvonne don't get a chance to have a Sunday dinner because we're always at work so it's nice isn't it to be yeah it is yeah so we're gonna sit down and watch Cracky Kid 1 have a nice hot meal and have a nice relaxing evening because last night we were up pretty late because we have had the most awesome time on Minecraft it's just I've had this idea and it's absolutely fantastic when you have a player two so to speak that knows what i want them to do <laughs> unfortunately guys tonight we've got to keep links locked in the living room because tomorrow he's going to have an operation to take out his tooth and uh, we've been told he's not allowed to have any food but the problem is we've got two other cats so to make it a lot easier for them and fair in a sense is uh we're going to keep him in the living room when he's going to have um you know a little tray and everything in there so then in the morning guys i've got to get up extra early to take him to the vets so fingers crossed guys that goes really really well and hoping that i'll be able to tell you some good news in next week's vlog on that one however guys unfortunately this is where we're gonna have to love and leave you for this week's vlog both of us would like to say a huge thank you all for coming by it means the world to me and also the world to you yes and always guys do your best to stay positive and screw all those negatives and we'll see you on the next one all right bye bye, bye. bye. bye.